This is a tie fast nail knot tool. I'll show you how it works. Dude, that's a big brown bro. All right, so this is the tie fast nail knot tool. It's a handy little tool. If you learn how to use it right, you can tie clean, quick, and fast nail knots. This can be used to attach your leader to your line, your fly line, or your fly line to your backing. Um, so it's a handy little tool, not, not a whole lot to it, but let's, uh, let's go through how to use this. So I usually start off with it in my left hand. I don't, everybody may be different. I'm a lefty that ha does half of my stuff righty. Uh, but anyway, it has this nice little thumb pad where you're gonna use to control your material. So I'm gonna start off with, this would be as if I'm tying a uh, leader or a butt section onto my fly line. So I'm gonna start off with both the line and, or the leader and the tool in my left hand. And again, with the thumb, I'm just pushing that to the uh, little pad there to secure the material. Now what I'll do, make sure I have about six, five, six, seven inches, depending on uh, what, you're, uh, what type of material you're dealing with. And then you can see there's this notch. I'm pulling this back down through the notch and then I go away from me and I just create wraps. And you can use your finger if you feel them uh, creeping off the end there. And you want them touching, not overlapping. So just like that. And again, five to seven or eight, depending on the material. The thicker the stuff, you don't need as many. And then you feed this back through. And then what I do is, as I've gotten those wrapped and through, I pull that tag end back down towards my other hand, and that will snug those wraps up against each other. And then I put my finger back there to hold it. Now we're just gonna grab some, the end of our fly line right here, and then we just feed that up into the tool. Now here's the little trick with this tool. I've tried this a lot of different ways and I found that the little, I call it the snap or the jerk method with a pair of hemostats or clamps is the best way to get this to come off cleanly. So what I'll do is I'll just grab and lock that in. Now I'm still holding everything tight. I haven't let, let go of anything. And then what I'm gonna do in one motion, I'm going to release my index finger, that guy, and I'm gonna do a quick snap motion in that opposite direction and not holding on to anything, but what will happen is that these wraps will slide onto the fly line and they're not gonna be pretty right off the bat. We'll still have to massage them, but that will ensure the fewest amount of, of wraps um, coming undone or overlapping each other. So again, <clears throat> I'm just gonna make a quick snapping motion in this direction, not holding onto the fly line. It's just gonna, uh, let itself roll right onto that as I let go. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, now again, it's not super pretty looking at this point, and that's part of what we're gonna do here, but that motion will help it so that it's got the best chance of having a clean overall uh, low down, lay down of those wraps. So what I do is I'll get that in my fingers and just kind of, uh, you can roll that back and forth. <clears throat> And then I'll just take the tag end and the terminal end and apply a little bit of pressure. And what I'll do is I have three pull points to help secure this knot. The first one is you take the mono in itself and you pull on the tag end and the terminal end. Then the other pull point is the tag end and the line. Now you, do, you don't wanna do this too forcefully, but you can see that right there it pulled those wraps closer together. And if you were to pull this too hard, it's gonna go flying off the end, so you don't wanna do that one too hard. And then the third pull point is the fly line and the terminal end. And that one you can't do very forcefully because you saw that one jumped a little bit. So I'll just kind of repeat those a couple times. And then we can start to really crank it down. And you can see those wraps are a lot closer. 
and they're going to get even nicer as I pull these with a little bit more force. Like so. And then our final point, which is the ultimate tightening one, like so. So what we have now is a pretty tight, clean set of wraps going around my fly line. And now I'm just going to clean these up with some nippers. And you want these as close without as close to the knot as possible without chopping the knot. That has never happened to me. The idea here is you want this connection as clean as possible because that's going to be going through your guides. And that's one of the reasons we never use the loop to loop connections because those loops can impede the fly line and the leader connection going through your guides. So once I've got that trimmed off as close as I dare, give it another tug test. The, the wraps look good. That's going to hold tight. And I've got my knot tied with my tie fast tool. We do sell these on our website, store.flyfishfood.com. And you can get the link down below. Get practicing these. Practice, practice, practice.